a group of soldiers and dogs gear up at this kennel in southern Afghanistan. These dogs are tactical explosive detector dogs, and this evening they'll be getting some practice time in. We were doing training, aid placement. It kind of gets the dogs in the rhythm, teaches them to look in certain areas for where IEDs could possibly be. For instance, if you encounter something that you've never encountered before, well, when we train with the dogs, we're going to try to implement that into what we're doing. That way the dogs know to look there next time they go there. These handlers are somewhat unique. This isn't the job they signed up for when they joined the Army. They're infantrymen first. What we do is we go to a school before we deploy, and we learn how to basically use a dog. And we start by first bonding with the dog, and then after that we learn how to actually read them, know how they're feeling, or when they're actually on odor. You just learn by being with them. It's kind of like you notice people's changing behavior. That's kind of what we do with the dogs. The combination of handler and infantrymen allows the TED dogs to support missions that a traditional military working dog might not be suited for. They blur the line between the infantry and military working dog communities. It gives me a sense of pride because I went from helping them in a certain way to helping them in a completely different way, and it made me an asset. I'm not just another soldier. I'm, I'm a rare. My skill asset doesn't, not everybody knows how to do this. Training wraps, and the dogs and their handlers turn in for the night, ready for whatever may come tomorrow. Airman Jimmy Moreland, Southern Afghanistan.